Are eggs secretly plotting your downfall? For decades, we were told to fear the yolk, to treat it like a tiny cholesterol-filled time bomb. But what if I told you the war on eggs was based on a huge misunderstanding? Let's crack this myth wide open. First off, what even is cholesterol? It's not some evil invader. It's a waxy substance, a type of sterile, that your body absolutely needs. It's in every single cell membrane. It helps you make crucial hormones like testosterone and estrogen. And it's a key ingredient for bile acids that help you digest fat. In fact, it's so important that your liver churns out about 1,000 milligrams of it every single day, whether you eat any or not. So here's where it gets interesting. Your body is smart. It has a built-in balancing act, a system called homeostasis. When you eat foods high in cholesterol, like an egg, your liver usually just goes, Oh, we got some coming in? Cool, I'll take a break. And it produces less. For most of us, this internal regulation system works beautifully, keeping our blood cholesterol levels stable. This brings us to the egg itself, public enemy number one. One large egg has about 180 to 200 milligrams of cholesterol. For years, that number scared people away. But study after study has shown that for the average healthy person, eating an egg a day doesn't significantly raise the risk of heart disease. So if it's not the cholesterol in the egg, what is the problem? The real troublemakers are saturated and trans fats. These guys have a much bigger impact on your blood cholesterol levels than the cholesterol you eat. Think about how you eat your eggs. An egg scrambled with spinach and avocado is a world away from an egg fried in a pool of butter, served alongside greasy bacon and processed white toast. The company your egg keeps matters in a lot. Let's quickly talk about the good and bad cholesterol. You've heard of LDL and HDL, right? Think of it this way. LDL particles are like delivery trucks dropping off cholesterol to your cells. If you have too many trucks on the road, they can cause traffic jams and pile up in your arteries. HDL, on the other hand, is the cleanup crew. They pick up excess cholesterol and take it back to the liver to be recycled or removed. Here's the cool part about eggs. Some studies suggest they might actually raise your good HDL and change the LDL particles from small, dense, dangerous ones to larger, fluffier ones that are less likely to clog your arteries. Plus, eggs aren't just about cholesterol. They're nutritional powerhouses. They're packed with high-quality protein and a super important nutrient called choline, which is a rock star for brain health and memory. Now, there are always exceptions. Some people have genetic conditions like familial hypercholesterolemia, where their bodies can't regulate cholesterol properly. For them, Limiting dietary cholesterol is much more important, but for the vast majority of us, an egg a day is perfectly fine. The final verdict is this. Nutrition is about the big picture, your overall dietary pattern, not villainizing one single food.